Breaking news coming in Congress. General Secretary Digvijay Singh has also joined Party Chief Sonia Gandhi in attacking the Modi government over increasing communal incidents in the country. Sonia Gandhi has gone on record to taunt the Modi government saying that ever since Narendra Modi became the Prime Minister there has been a spurt in communal violence. Let's listen in now to Digvijay Singh of the Congress who says the same thing. The fact is as a strategy the BJP is instigating communal riots between the Dalits and the Muslims. If a Muslim has an affair with a Hindu girl, that's love jihad. But if Hindu boys has an affair with a Muslim girl, it's a matter of pride. These double standards practiced by the BJP, the Hindu Parishad, and the Sangh activist strikes at the very core of liberal, moderate, communal harmony. Sonia Gandhi had made this comment a short while ago. Now Digvijay Singh coming out and saying it. Pretty much the Congress's sharpest attack on the government. Rahul Gandhi has made it part of his attack against the Narendra Modi government as well. That communal incidents have simply spiked since the Narendra Modi government came to power. Let's go straight across to headlines today. Deputy Editor uh, Brijesh Pandey for more on this. Brijesh, Digvijay Singh coming out to say the same thing now. Well, uh, Shiv, uh, uh, Congress has been pretty aggressive on communal violence incident. Uh, in the morning, uh, when Sonia Gandhi, uh, in, in a speech in Kerala, said that you know, ever since the Modi government has come to power, in communal incidents has been on rise. And she quoted a newspaper report saying that more than 600 communal incidents have taken place. And immediately after that, at around uh, f uh, at around 3 3:30, 3 uh, when we spoke to Digvijay Singh, uh, he said uh, he said that you know, uh, there's a double standard which strikes at the core of uh, humanity when a Muslim boy marries. A Hindu girl, uh, most of the Saffron outfits uh, cry foul. But when a, a Hindu boy marries a Muslim girl, it's a matter of a matter of pride for them. You know, the Congress has been maintaining a pretty aggressive stand throughout the day today. Uh, Malikarjun Kharge and Jyoti Raditya Sindhya also went yeah. and met the speaker, saying that you know the, the the BJP and the government is not allowing them to raise communal violence uh, uh, discussion to have a communal violence discussion in the Parliament. And they have been assured that tomorrow first thing in the Parliament will be a discussion on this. So all all in all, they are trying to you know raise this bogey and it, this fight has been going on since Saturday when Rahul Gandhi uh, in an interview to a newspaper said uh, that you know that communal riots in UP are engineered riots they are not a national corollary of fight between two communities and they are engineered by a particular party hinting at uh, BJP saying that they are the one who are engineering riots uh, for their uh, for their electoral gains and it was the, there was an immediate and swift attack by uh, Amit Shah and Prime Minister Narendra Modi who said that parties who have lost power they are yet to come to terms with it and in that desperation there are talks like this so tomorrow when when, yeah. the, when the Lok Sabha will see a communal a discussion on communal uh, violence uh, this uh, discussion then we can we can be very sure to see fireworks from both the sides given oh, how odds definitely. are placed in a Lok Sabha there's Shem gonna be fireworks once that dis uh, discussion starts and of course there all eyes will also be uh, you know in many ways on Rahul Gandhi to see how he uh, follows up on the whole aggressive Rahul Avtar. Uh, Brijesh, stay with me for a moment. It's the first direct attack on the Modi government by UPA chief Sonia Gandhi. Last week Rahul got aggressive in parliament and today it was Sonia Gandhi in Tiruvananthapuram blaming the BJP government for the spurt in communal virals. Sonia hit out at the center saying there has been a marked, very, very visible spurt in cases of communal violence ever since the new government came to power. Sonia's comment is important considering the Congress party has been pushing to raise the matter in the Lok Sabha like you just heard from Brijesh. It will be coming up for discussion tomorrow. Senior leaders Malik Arjun Karge and Jyotiraditya Sindhya met the speaker on this issue asking for a discussion today itself, but it will be raised in the House tomorrow. Incidents of communal violence, especially in some states of the north, like Uttar Pradesh, like Maharashtra, 
and some other states have increased in the 11 weeks since the new government came to power. Well, more political reactions. It becomes the nub of the direct face-off between the Congress and the BJP-ruled government at this time over a spurt in communal violence is what the UPA alleges uh, under the Modi Sarkar political reactions. It's become the nub of a fight. Let's show you some of those reactions now. I Samajwadi Party ke dwara कोई कॉमनल वायलेंस नहीं हो रहा है जहां जी भी कॉमनल वायलेंस हो रहा है उसके पीछे कहीं न कहीं बीजेपी के कार्यकर्ता आरएसएस के कार्यकर्ता रहते हैं आज भी उत्तर प्रदेश में भी जितनी घटनाएं हुई हैं वो वहां की जो हुकुमरान पार्टी है रोलिंग पार्टी उनकी वजह से नहीं हो रही है ये हमेशा भारतीय जनता पार्टी वहां इंसिडेंट्स करती हैं जहां इनकी अपनी सरकार न हो ताकि दूसरी पार्टी की सरकार बदनाम हो अपनी सरकार में नहीं करते Brajesh Pandey is still with us. Brajesh, uh, you know, given the build-up and the very specific nature of what Sonia Gandhi has said and now followed, uh, you know, by uh, members of the Congress, including Vig Vijay Singh and Gulam Nabi Azad, like you rightly said, expect fireworks in Parliament tomorrow, Brajesh. Oh, absolutely. And uh, the fact is that the BJP uh, MPs, when we uh, sought their reaction to what Sonia Gandhi has said, they were pretty clear about one thing. Ramesh Bidhuri, uh, one of the BJP MPs from uh, Delhi, he said that, you know, that this is one issue in which uh, Sonia should do an introspection. And even before BJP uh, came to power and even before this general election, there have been hundreds of riots in the first year, first six months of one year of a Samajwadi party-led government. And it's this party which supported Congress. So they are saying that, you know, when you take support, from a murderous government and uh, you know there, when there are so many uh, uh, communal in rights in on your watch you know you lose the moral authority to question them and there have been pretty aggressive counterbalance by KC Tyagi of JDU who said right. that you know there have been communal incidents under Congress watch but these in keys these communal rights have ha happened as a fight between two communities and not an engineered one thereby clearly hinting that it is BJP which is fomenting communal unrest and tension so uh, there's a lot of there's a clear divide between the two sides and and to Tomorrow when the issue will come up and I think when Rahul Gandhi will uh, get up to speak on this particular issue, right. we can see a lot of hooting across and a lot of uh, fireworks as you said uh, tomorrow in the parliament on Lots this issue. Lots of fireworks, sure. uh, we're going to have to keep a lookout for what happens. Of course, there will be a specific eye also on Sonia's son Rahul Gandhi because remember it's he who will be on the cutting edge. He was there when he was got all aggressive last week. We're going to have to see if that is followed through this time as well. Brajesh, thanks very much for that.